There's a huge portion of our workforce retiring in the next few years. We're dealing with robotics and automation and new tools and everything's getting machined at record speeds. Every month, new tools are coming out. Every year, the entire industry is getting bigger and better and faster. Manufacturing education has never been so important. It was important for me to figure out a way to actually come up with parts that mattered, that taught the students through repetition. Each employee will be given a certain amount of tools. You might have backup or backup like in here. Gotcha. To cut right? out if it but you have out. one half inch and or you have one, you know, one inch. And what I'm gonna do, like, there's a million tools you're gonna you can do, but what I'm doing is I'm designing the curriculum to use the tools that are in the library. You know what I mean? Yeah. Education is my passion. I get to speak at different schools, conventions all across the nation. I get to go to all these amazing companies. I get to see the processes and I get to look at employers and they tell me exactly what they need from a young machinist coming in. I actually run a job shop. Not just a job shop, but an aerospace job shop where we're making the most difficult parts imaginable out of the toughest materials on the planet. These prints right here, this stack of prints, this is the first ever educational series put out by Titans of CNC. A curriculum that works. And I'm calling it the building blocks. Each part was strategically designed to teach a specific skill. Is 10 parts. And then when looking at all 10 parts, we've actually created three different prints. The first print shows the basic shape. The next print shows the threads or the holes. And then the final print takes the part complete. The first part, we call it the Titan 1M. It starts off as a basic rectangle. We add threaded holes and then the pockets in. Going to the second part, it's a Titan 2M. It's similar to the first part, but now we have chamfered edges and the pockets are open-ended. Part three, we go to a circle and we add an O-ring groove. Part four is a triangle, but we have a radial keyway groove. Part five starts off as a circle, ends up as a star with engraving. Part six is a circle also, but now we have islands. Part seven has a unique shape, but now we deal with mirroring your part because specific features are mirrored on the top and bottom of the part. Part eight was created simply by the thought, let's make a unique shape. We made binoculars, we made pockets, but now we have an inside radial O-ring groove. And then part nine completely steps the game up. We're adding in 3D surfacing or multi-axis milling, where we take a round or ball end mill and we walk up a 3D surface, milling a unique shape. Last but not least, I thought we'd have some fun. This part right here represents an actual aerospace part that would assemble to a rocket. And that's why we introduced the honeycomb technique. It makes for a strong and very light component that we use in aerospace every day. Building the curriculum alone is a huge task. I recently hired an engineer named Billy and all he does all day long is create content for the curriculum. I hired more editors. I hired a bigger team. And now we're working on a website to finish off our master plan. 
the curriculum is going online, Titans of CNC Academy for free.